dip 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 still nothing nothing no updates well I did get sort of an update sort of comments the answer arc is interesting right now so it shouldn't take that long anymore I don't know quite whether this person got the information from because I haven't heard anything if it, if it is an update, if I don't, if there's no release date, then, well, they probably are testing it, but I don't know. They still haven't even so much as put a release date in this, like, in, like, just three more days, I think. It'll be an entire year since they last released it. I was just on Manga Gamer's site, right? And, like, uh, noise the schedules between each release was quite a number of months, but never quite a year. They're really taking the time releasing it. Anyways, assuming this goes to plan, <laughs> just like, just barely make it out there. The reason why I say this is, well, my antivirus has a habit of looking at visual novels and being like, oh, not many people use that. Delete it! Immediately! Fah! It's like, it's like that guy from Death Note is just like, delete, 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 delete it. Or Matt Hardy or something, he's like, delete, delete, delete. Whichever the one, it's like, I just had this other novel that I played, well, I didn't really play for it much. I just, I just vaguely remember it when I was browsing Rempy player visual novels that were made. A one that looked like it had an all right art style, I was like, okay. And I'd since forgotten what it was called, and it didn't really seem all that interesting. It seemed pretty generic, but I don't know, maybe it got good at some point, I know. So I was like, I'll give that one a try again. It was called uh, Homebound or something like that. Just like, okay, uh, uh, where did I have it? And I was like, okay, I found it. Okay, and open. Files missing. When did that happen? Okay, uh, that, that was from years ago, so maybe I'll... Redownload it. Okay, got it. Yeah, mm, yes. And then my antivirus deleted the fuck out of it. Like so much, it deleted many files. Like this file's not safe. That one's not safe. That one's not safe. That one's not safe. That one's not safe. It's just like when it does shit like that. It's just like, are you really detecting that it's not a safe file, or are you just being like, ah, uh, well, it's because it doesn't have as many. It's any users, so it must be bad, right? It always does it with novels. It even does it with the Higurashi novels, for God's sake. I have to literally make it so, like, it'll have be a few seconds between the second I open the file to, like, notify my antivirus. It's just like, no, this is not a bad file. With this one, it did give me time, but I didn't expect what it did, you know? I wasn't expecting to suddenly go on a delete spree. Besides, I don't even know how I'd freaking get it to stop that one. But anyways, the reason why this is a moment of truth is because I've got the Edelweiss trial. Edelweiss is a novel that I, uh, I only played two routes, really. Two and a half routes way back when. And I don't know. I just feel like maybe just do the trial version. It's just, it's absurd. It is more focused on those kind of scenes, though. But at the same time, it isn't. I remember going through two character routes, and it was, you know, classic story-driven kind of stuff, rather than being all out, okay, let's have that scene and that scene and that scene. You know, just those scenes and nothing else. Well, actually, the third character arc, arc that I went through it's just like, it was like one or two, it was at least two scenes of that. And it felt like the plot wasn't really going in much of another direction. So I just kind of got bored and was like, eh. But I've heard the character route is pretty good. So it's was like, eh, yeah, maybe it gets better on. But I don't know anymore because that was off the old manga gamer site when I originally bought it, you know. So I'd have to buy it again if I wanted to play the full version. But we got to try I had a trial version, play for the trial version while we impatiently wait for the next Higurashi arc. So let's see if this file will be workable or deletable. Usually in the past, if I recall, it never tends to see the trial versions like that. 
But anytime I have the actual version, though, it's like, like the official version, like purchase, it'd be like, all right, see so you purchased that. Let me delete it for you, bastards. Anyways, click. I don't know how the how the size of the window's gonna look, so I might have to resize it. That is assuming it doesn't get immediately deleted. Oh yeah, it's totally bigger. Edelweiss Overdrive. Manga guy email. The not safe for work. Um. Uh. uh uh, 18 plus sides. What? Parental advisory? I don't know, just the way, like, that's, like, said there makes it just, like, someone who's, like, just, like, But, but, Mom, I want to play this, uh, novel, right? It's, uh, it's got a, a, but it has a few hentai scenes in it. Can I play the game? Well, the novel? It's like, the what now? Anyways, we're gonna resize the window, we're gonna play Trial Version. By the way, Trial Version does not have any of those scenes. Because why would it? That'd make no sense. It's that classic kind of thing. Like, first two characters went through. I don't think, like, you know, those scenes was kind of the main point of it. Although it does kind of feel like it at the same time. But it, it felt more story driven. It wasn't all about just that. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. I've heard one other character has a really tragic route. You gotta have tragic routes, you know? Where it's like, oh, this song is so sad. <laughs> I can't remember the names of the characters. But if you've watched my Go Go Nippon LP, or LPs, I should say, since I've LPed it three times, some of the tracks that were used in that were used in, in this, essentially, because it's the same company. So you have to reuse tracks. You'll probably see what I mean in the trial version. This is the most absurd novel. And I'm gonna resize the window, and I will be right back. Alrighty then. So, you know, I've actually been losing sleep over this, if you can believe it or not. I was like, <laughs> I've been trying to freaking get my sleep pattern back around, but every single night I try to get to sleep. And I just can't, because my mind just goes all over the place. Like, I was like thinking, ah, Higurashi, what should I do in the meantime? And I was thinking that Homewood one that I mentioned, I was like, maybe I could, like, maybe play that for one or two parts, but... My antivirus was like, fuck that novel! So, that's a negative. And then my other option was, maybe the Edelweiss trial, I don't remember it being very lengthy, could do that. Maybe even LP Edelweiss somewhere down the line, I don't know. Who knows? I don't. And I'm I'm the one who does the let's play, so that makes that's the most important thing. So like uh uh Yeah. I was just thinking that while I was trying to sleep. I was like, God damn I'm trying to sleep. I got college in the morning and I missed it because I couldn't get to sleep at all. Hours it took man to get to sleep. Not the only thing that kept me up, though. Most bizarre one last night, for example, as I'm recording this, I was freaking thinking of time travel of all things. My mind went all sci-fi on me. Just like, you know, if you were to travel back in time and influence anything even in the slightest way, wouldn't that make it so that you could no longer technically exist in that form that you are there? because you've altered the future. So that version of you that exists in the future can no longer exist, therefore you would no longer exist, and in your form would be another version of you. And I was like, I'm just like, I'm trying to sleep here. Yeah. It's like, God damn it, let's do this. The intro of this is very perverted. Not in Oi! a kind of like, uh, you know, just like, oh, boobs! Boobs on screen! No, none of that. More of the, uh, these guys are so perverted. But I'm just a generic protagonist. What do you want? I recognize... It's been years, but I recognize the voices of the characters. Well, two of them at least. I think. 
I think the deep voice is the tall guy. Uh, there's this wannabe kind of like romantic guy, romantic guy, wannabe kind of romantic kind of guy. I think he was the one who just voiced and the other guy must have been the fat guy. They're a weird bunch, you'll soon see. Hello? <laughs> In case you're wondering, we're on a boat. Uh, what are you... Oh, what are you being so loud for? We're on a boat! Look at this guy. That is one ugly face. To be fair, he's also making a very, very unpleasant looking face. Like he's about to throw up in our face, but... I don't think that helps him much. The first thing I saw... Jesus Christ, man! He's got bigger boobs than half the freaking girls! The first thing I saw when I... Uh, saw when I opened my eyes was Apo vomiting all over the boat. His face was green. That's more of a purplish blue. And Pierre, the wannabe romance guy. You can probably tell from his name. Was nervously trying to help him. His face was green as well. What in the hell is that shirt there, man? Is it like some kind of parody of Mickey Mouse mixed with something else? What the fuck is that? That's it's so weird to, you know, I mean, I'm only going to be playing the trial version here, but still, it feels so surreal to be playing through a novel again that actually has voice acting. I just woke up and I was already about to puke. I turned my eyes up and so and away from that disgusting sight. The sun shone brightly in the clear blue sky above us. The refreshing smell of the ocean washed over my heart. All around us there was nothing but ocean. Ocean and more ocean. I could feel the strong sunlight giving me a good tan. That's right, we're cruising on a ship. We left port several hours ago and already lost sight of land. All we could see was the endless ocean. The waves of the ocean made me feel calm and relaxed. This is so soothing. I love being out here. He's the... Well, the tall guy doesn't seem to be boot sick either. But the other guys certainly look like it. Or well, maybe he doesn't feel seasick, it's just that he feels sick at the seasick guy. Where's with his head? What? What? Please stand by momentarily due to the terribly filthy nature of the scene. <laughs> this game, a novel, I'm remembering now. It has a unique sense of humor. It's it's the original thing that sold me on it, to be honest. I can't do anything about it. It's morning wood, that's all. Kazushi <laughs> I can't help it, I've been so excited that I haven't slept for three days. It was true, I'd only slept about five hours total in the last week. That's how much I was looking forward to this trip. I can kind of relate, but not for the same reason. Like, <laughs> I, pro I can't even, I don't know how much sleep I've gotten this week, really. It's because, like, I end up sleeping through the morning. I don't intend to sleep through the morning. I'm trying to freaking make it so I can sleep through the night, but my mind will not allow it. Alright, throw him overboard. Don't die on us, we're almost there. I kindly rub my comrades back as I enjoy the grandeur of the ocean. We worked so hard for this day. Let us all set uh, foot into paradise together. Kazushi! 
You may be wondering what the fuck they're even talking about, but I'll just let them explain it. Please stand by, I'm telling you, due to the terrible look of need to sit and please relax and with these nice buttons. Don't hug me while you're puking! You know, in a way, this is perfect. If I were to ever LP it, if there was anything to happen in one of those scenes, plot-wise, I could totally just have like a background like this. Please stand by momentarily, due to the terribly graphicness of this scene, that YouTube would not find appropriate or something like that. But then again, I'd have to edit it all out. Or meet it as well. Still remember that scene from Shuffle ah! way back when. Well, it was awkward as fuck. This guy. I'm only just now remembering this other guy. I forgot all about him. Look at the pompadour, man. What is up with this guy? And the ears on these characters, man. It's weird. We suddenly found ourselves in the shadow of a big man. We stood at attention as a conditioned reflex. Uh, uh and by how are you? I take it he's speaking in a way that even native Japanese people wouldn't be able to understand what he's saying very easily. It's hard to understand what this guy says, but there were several legends about him at our old academy, and he commanded the respect of everyone. His unique manner of speech started some rumors like he ate too much bread and it killed his speech center, or maybe he's not actually Japanese. But after about half a year, I began to understand most of what he said. After one particular incident, we realized we couldn't go against him. He handed up a bag full of anban for some reason, and she always carries bread with him. Well, that must be where the first room comes from. His nickname Banshu comes from the way he always carries Anpan with him, I think. Maybe. I don't think there's a reason other than the Anpan he carries, but I never bold ask you. Banshu jammed the bread into her Apu's mouth. Sin boy was a hearty man. He never held back. Willpower, show us your guts, Apo, but n no, don't show us your guts. He really proved his manliness. He swallowed the bread down in a single gulp. That can't be a good thing. <laughs> it's like he's mummy. <laughs> I put up his mouth. We could tell he was about to break. <laughs> By the time we realized what would happen, it was too late. Please stand by momentarily due to the terribly filthy nature of this scene. Please relax with this nice stew. I don't think that one's an appropriate one to be honest. <laughs> Apple just threw oil into the fire. Jesus Christ, those veins. <laughs> See, big fire. Senpai looked terrifying as he grabbed Epiru by the collar. Epiru's two came right off the deck. We're sorry, we're sorry, but he's really on the edge. We'll, we'll apologize on you uh, on his behalf. So please, bestow our forgiveness. Me, 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 your forgiveness. I can't read. 
I, I could just picture the voice actor for this character recording their lines and trying not to break into laughter. <laughs> It'd be even worse if they just like, okay, we're gonna have it animated on screen for you as he's saying it. You read the lines out, you voice act him, as you can see his mouth moving, his veins sticking out, and you'll just, you wouldn't be able to get through that without recording it multiple times. おやおや、ひどいやりさまだな。まさに賛美の極みって感じだ。あ、山上先生、ジェス。Seriously, the it it it's it struck. Well, it does. It sticks out, doesn't it? I mean, look at these people's ears. They're so ginormous and distinct. Good morning. This was our old home room teacher. Uh, your gummy sensei, he's leading this trip for us. Sensei turned the warm smile to Panchu. He always wore such a nice smile, though, so that was only normal. <laughs> Yet Panchu back down in front of that smile. Yagami Sensei was the only teacher Panchu never had an issue with. しかしすごいな、この周り。お前たち、ちゃんと掃除しておくんだぞ。え、俺たちがですか？仲間の始末は仲間がつけるものだろ。その代わり、お前たちが困った時はアッポーが助けてくれるさ。仲間っていいよな
deliberately drawn in an ugly style like the other characters. Yeah, if you had one handsome and divide us in half, we'd be handsome. But... Sniffing what? I can imagine it now. It's like, oh, what's a god awful smell? Oh, who are these guys? What? <laughs> knock knock. Punch punch the face. <laughs> See what I mean? They are mega perfects. Knock knock. Knock knock. Jesus Christ, guys. Knock, 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 knock. Is he saying knock, knock to indicate what I think he's indicating that? Welcome, Dayo. Welcome, Nandakana. Sunda. In case you, well, you probably already noticed, but of these three, these two are clearly in a league of their own on the, we just want to get laid. This guy, he also wants to get laid as well, but he's a bit more, you know, laid back. But he does have his moments, but they're not as frequent as these two guys. No, what does it mean? ガンガイはムクオからオレたちを欲しがってくるわけよ。あと、俺と女の定期を拾ってこれ落ちてたよって言った瞬間に通報されてたもんな。ベイ、ワイ。エプウィッシュフォルシブリスウェンイトライトリ
神聖のウェズは実はその中の約1割程度と言われるつまりほぼ全員が仕方なくレズっているのだそそれはもったいない話だなそうさそうとも女同士で仕方なく若い体を慰め合ってるなんてもったいない話だ神への冒涜だぜ These guys, man. 俺たちに課せられた使命はそんな歪んだ心を持った女たちに救いの手を差し伸べる彼女たちの心と体に開いた穴を俺たちが埋めてやるんだあなたあなたぞデューチデューホールズワオいや、<笑> just like wow, you're really blunt about this, guys あの俺、漫画でしか見たことない<笑>場所がわからないかもしれない<笑>ジーズ・クライス感じるんだ感じるままに腰を突き出せされば穴は開かれんこ、こうか違う、思ったより下だこ、こうかなこ、こう<笑> Christ, そこまで行くと違うわなだ2つは意外と近くて間違えやすいので注意だ<笑> Jeez. 難しいものだな If it's that difficult and if we hesitate when the time comes won't they leave us? I've been to miss my chance 最初は後ろからの方が見やすいしやりやすいかもなよし今のうちに特訓だ What the hell? 四分倍になれ Uh, me, why me? Right, feel it, don't think about it. Okay, got it. He's an idiot. I stopped thinking and got on the deck on all fours. I felt like something that could never be undone was about to happen. Yoshi, Daigo, yet to be done. Jesus Christ. There you go, it's <laughs> literally a dog day. He was heavy. You know, it makes me wonder, like, for people who actually, you know, play these, read these, for those scenes, must have, like, saw this scene I started, just like, oh, hell no. Completely put off now. Chris! Ah, that's not it, it's the butt, that's the butt! <laughs> of all the ways to start a story. Wait, 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 this is definitely wrong. I know I wasn't bored to be doing this. I felt like I needed to say, Mum, I'm sorry. <laughs> With that face as well. It's not good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. これ以上やるとカズシが壊れてしまうので冗談はこのくらいで。デイグ、finally got off me. I felt so violated. That was awful. I had to bite my own tongue off. That was a bad joke. カズシももっと早く気づけよ。うますます気分悪くなってきた。Made it look like it was like an island in the sky there for a second. Looks like something out of a RPG, doesn't it? Kore kara ikisaki wa zenryo se no ojo sama gakko nan da kara na. Te, dare mo kiisai nai ka.
Banshee was shouting, but everyone was entranced by the island. Shinsu forced a smile as he lit a cigarette and the salty breeze carried away the smoke. Stop throwing up, act straight. If you still look like green, they'll hate you on first sight. Jesus Christ. お前ら本当に元気だな。そんなに体力余ってるなら、今度は部活でもやったらどうだ? I'll think about it, Yagami Sensei. Maybe the work our destination is a garden of women, a girls' boarding school with a proud history. I forget exactly the, because they still haven't explained the context, really. Like, how is it that you've got these four guys and their teacher transferring into what was essentially an all girls boarding school? How did that come to happen? I think it's explained, but they don't seem to be explaining it, and I can't even fully remember. Playing tennis with a bunch of cute girls could be fun. Pierre looked bright-eyed at the island. You're right, Pierre, with your ridiculous name. All of us must think the same way, really. Our academy was threatened with closure when this old girl school started in Rolling Boys. Okay, there's girls. I don't know why an old girl school suddenly decided to enroll men, but apparently they changed their policy. It was perfect timing. It was hard for us to imagine it was just a coincidence. More But if that's the case, wouldn't they be accepting maybe a few more guys into the school? Then their chances go drastically down of getting with anyone. I mean, their chances of getting with anyone at all seems just like more or less almost if not non-existent to begin with. Except for the protagonist, because you know the protagonist is going to get with everyone. Our boat entered the port. There were a lot of fishermen here. It looked like a pretty lively island. よ、I kept overhearing people saying the day. I wonder what's going on that's so special. Perhaps... Perhaps they will be sacrificed to some crazy god. That's a chug boat, right? The smokestack was putting out poisonous looking smoke. I'm far more curious about what fill it runs on than how old it is. I was really worried about how safe it was to spread that smoke. Look, seagulls! The seagulls were floating and clucking up around the boat. They weren't quite in the smoke, they were enjoying it. Perhaps that smoke smells good to them. Oh, wait, I guess it's not harmful. After a little bump, our boat came to stop. We were right alongside the pier. One of the crew hopped out and scared the boat with the wheel. Mina! Sweet as all! No one listened to these instructions. As we all rushed to get off, we cut in line too. That's that's usually how it is, isn't it? Like, no, me first! But in this case, they've got other reasons for being like, me first! Uh, what's the point? <laughs> Where'd you get the bandages? Oh, well, bandages. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my
Don't mind. Don't mind. We we sometimes speak English for whatever reason. I guess it's like how people like speak English and will sometimes randomly throw a foreign word into it. You recognize this track was in Go Go Nippon right here when they were landing the plane. So it's kind of a similar scenario in a way, except not really. But it did involve travel. We're finally here, our new frontier, Japan! I mean, uh, we're already in Japan. Wrong game. Novel. The brilliant sun shone down on us. Part of the island rose before us as if it was stretching out towards the sky. And then it sunk to the bottom of the ocean. On top of that peak stood a building that was probably our new castle. It looked just like a foreign castle. That's where my princess is waiting for me. Oh, you know what? I'm just picturing Apo as Mario now. And, like, when he gets to that famous scene, that always just like, we're sorry, but the prince is in an old castle. Just imagine Toad just be like, ugh, I think it's a good thing, actually. <laughs> just like, what? Where is she? Uh, she's in a different castle, but I'm not gonna tell you what one. She's like, even if you were Mario, I wouldn't tell you. It was on the spot we did to the different country. Everything we saw looked so new to us. You know, come to think of it, it does have a bit of a European look to it, doesn't it? Hey girls, I'll be there soon! I couldn't resist the rising urge to shout. Oh, that makes sense! Well, I can because it's like 9 p.m. Our screams echoed in the sky. His tone of voice went past anger and straight into shame. You know what? That kind of gives it away a bit, doesn't it? The star. There's some magic shit going on this island. 